Hey guys, welcome to this upper body and core workout. Before I start, I've been loving this slender coffee by Protein World. I drink one serving before my workout for a boost of energy and stamina. You only need one teaspoon of the instant coffee, but I did decide to add another half teaspoon since I was pretty unmotivated. Instead of using milk, I love to add half a scoop of protein powder. I'm using this vanilla WPC from Protein World and it just makes the coffee so creamy and delicious. I then add hot water of course and give it a good mix until all the protein has dissolved. It honestly smells so good like a vanilla latte but a slender version. Once it has cooled down I sip on this for about 30 minutes and then I'm ready for my workout. We've arrived at the gym and it's time to put our earphones in and search Spotify for the best playlist that's going to get us in the vibe. I've been loving this song for the gym lately, so get into it. Now grab yourself a bamboo pole or a rope and let's start the warm up. We're starting off with these rotations for shoulder mobility. If you're not too flexible, it will be best to use bands or a flexible rope. Grab the pole as wide as comfortable. The wider the grip, the more comfortable it will be. Gently and intentionally, lift the pole up and backward behind your head, allowing your chest to open up and your shoulders to rotate. Don't force it. Everyone's flexibility range is different, so be gentle and patient with your body. Hold for a slight second and then bring the pole back over your head to center. Repeat several times until you feel a deep opening in your shoulders and chest. You can also try a different variation after, like I am doing here. It's the same movement, but at a 45 degree angle and rotating in a circular motion. Rotate one way four or five times and then repeat in the opposite direction. Shoulder mobility is important because it helps strengthen the rotator cuff, increases stability of the shoulder joint and improves range of motion. The main benefit for this exercise is to prevent injury. I like to end this exercise with a few more back and forth rotations. Moving on to our mat, we'll start off with some cat cow. Drop your belly and lift your chin as you inhale. Press into your hands and pull your lower belly in as you exhale. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, curve your spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Repeat this several times until your spine is all warmed up. Moving on to some chest openers. With your knees slightly wider than hip distance, bring your right hand to your right ear with your elbow bent. Breathe in, open your chest to the right. Breathe out, bring your right elbow to your left wrist. Breathe in, open, breathe out, close. Repeat this for 10 to 12 reps. Same thing on the other side. Left hand to your left ear with your elbow bent. Breathe in and open your chest. Breathe out, bring your left elbow to your right wrist. Breathe in, open. Breathe out, close. Again, repeat on the left side for 10 to 12 reps. For another variation, you can keep your right arm straight as you lift it towards the sky, breathing in, and thread the needle underneath you towards your left, laying on your right ear as you breathe out. Only hold for a slight second and repeat. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, thread the needle. Repeat this movement for 10 to 12 reps. Same thing on the other side. Inhale, lift your left arm towards the sky. Exhale, thread the needle and lay down on your left ear. Breathe in, stretch. Breathe out, fold. Repeat on your left side for 10 to 12 reps. 
for the next movement, bring your knees hip distance apart with your feet flat on the mat. Rest your right hand on your right heel as you press your hips forward, lifting your left arm towards the sky. Breathe in and swap sides, left hand to left heel, hips forward and right arm towards the sky. Breathe in and breathe out, rest your hips towards your heels. Make your way to downward facing dog with your hands firm on the mat, pressing your chest towards your legs. Walk your hands towards your feet for a forward fold. Clasp your hands behind your back as you push your arms towards the floor in front of you, opening up your chest. Hold this pose for a few deep breaths and you're finished with the warm up. Now that we're all warmed up, it's time to begin our workout and we're starting off on the cable machine with some cable pull downs with an underhand grip. Grab the bar about shoulder distance apart and sit back on a bench. Rotate your shoulders back, relax your neck and keep your core tight. As you breathe in, extend forward with your back engaged and as you breathe out, pull the bar towards your chest as you lean back slightly. Follow your breath for each rep, breathing in as you extend forward, breathing out as you lean back, pulling your shoulder blades together and opening your chest. Repeat this exercise for about 12 reps. You can increase the weight and repeat the exercise for four sets total. I highly recommend progressive overload for optimal growth so this means increase your weight all reps each set. After you've finished your fourth set, it's time to move on to our next exercise. Remove the bar from the cables and change it to a handle. Lower the weight to something comfortable and take a seat on the bench. For single arm pull downs, grip the handle with your right hand. Breathe in as you extend forward, Breathe out as you lean back slightly, lifting your chest and pulling the handle towards your chest. Hold for a slight second and repeat. Make sure your core is tight and your back muscles are engaged during the whole movement. Repeat this for 12 reps and move on to the other side. Grip the handle with your left hand, extend forward as you inhale and pull the handle towards your chest with your back fully flexed as you exhale. It's important to incorporate unilateral movements into your routine since it helps target one side of the body at a time. If you are physically imbalanced like me, unilateral movements are essential. Increase the weight and repeat four sets. Moving on from back to biceps, we're starting off with cable bicep curls. Adjust the cable machine so it's sitting at the bottom and grab a short bar. Begin with your core tight and shoulders back Keep your neck relaxed and bend your knees slightly. Keep your arms slightly pressed into your sides so your elbows don't move forward or backward. They only hinge with each curl. Extend your arms as you inhale. Exhale, flex your biceps and bring the bar towards your chest. Repeat with your breath for 12 reps. This is a superset, so go find yourself a barbell. We'll be using this to burn out our biceps. Same form as before, shoulders back, core tight and elbows in. Breathe in as you extend, breathe out as you flex. Repeat until failure. Our last upper body exercise is assisted pull-ups. Adjust the weight of the machine so you can pull yourself up but with as much resistance as possible. Grip the handles in a neutral grip, which means thumbs in front. Keep your core tight, chest open and chin tucked slightly. As you engage your back, shoulders and arms, pull yourself up. Hold for a short second and slowly lower back down. Inhale as you pull up, exhale as you release. Repeat for 12 reps and 4 sets. Moving on to our core circuit, lay down on your mat on your back. Release all the air from your lungs and pull your lower belly in, engaging your core. Shuffle your hands under your glutes for support and begin lifting your legs using your core. Your breath should be steady and shallow, allowing your core to be engaged during the whole movement. 
Repeat this movement for 20 reps. Moving straight into our next exercise, knee crunches. Sit evenly on your hips with your legs bent in front of you. Place your hands behind your back with your chest lifted. First, engage your core. Then, as you inhale, simultaneously extend your legs as you lean your torso backwards. As you exhale, pull your knees and chest towards each other using your core. Inhale, extend. Exhale, crunch. Again, repeat for 20 reps. The third exercise is standard crunches. Lay back down with your legs in the air, knees bent and ankles crossed. Again, first engage your core. Then, with your hands behind or beside your head, curve your spine and lift up towards your legs using your core. Inhale, lay back. Exhale, crunch. Repeat for 20 reps. The last exercise is bicycle crunches. With your hands in the same position, extend your left leg as you simultaneously bring your left elbow to your right knee. Repeat quickly on the other side and keep going with your core engaged the whole time. Continue until failure. The last movement isn't a part of the circuit we just completed, but I did incorporate it to burn out our abs. For hanging leg lifts, find somewhere with handlebars where you can hang without touching the floor. Release all the air from your lungs and pull your lower belly in to engage your core. Lift your knees towards your chest and slowly lower back down. Repeat for about 15 reps. It may take some time to find your rhythm so you're not swinging back and forth, just be patient. You can also superset with single leg bent knee lifts. Now that our workout is over, it's time to begin the cool down. Start off in extended child's pose with your hips towards your heels, arms extended and forehead on the mat. Thank yourself in this moment for showing up, completing a workout intentionally and taking care of your body. Bring yourself up to all fours with your toes still touching. Inhale, reach your right arm towards the sky. Exhale, thread the needle and lay down on your right ear. This time, hold for several breaths. You can use your left hand as a little kickstand and press into your palm for a deeper stretch. Make sure the weight between your hips is evenly distributed. For an even deeper stretch, bend your elbow and place the back of your hand against your lower back, opening up your chest. Release and let's repeat that on the other side. Come back to neutral, inhale, reach your left arm to the sky, exhale, thread the needle to lay down on your left ear. Hold for several breaths. Again, to intensify the stretch, Place the back of your right hand against your lower back and open up your chest. Release and come back to neutral. For a version of puppy dog pose, with your toes still touching and your knees wide, make sure your hips are above your knees as you reach your arms forward and melt your chest towards the floor. Rest either your forehead or your chin on the mat. Hold for several breaths and feel the deep stretch in your upper back. When you're ready, press into your palms and slowly release, melting your hips towards your heels in child's pose. Rest your arms by your sides, palms facing up, and release all tension from your body. Hold for three deep breaths. When you're ready, make your way to all fours with your hips directly above your knees. 
for standard puppy dog pose. Melt your chest towards the mat once again, resting either your forehead or your chin on the mat. Hold for a few deep, intentional breaths. One last deep breath and slowly release back to child's pose. When you're ready, press into your hands and push up into a high plank. With your core engaged and your elbows tucked into your body, slowly and with control, lower down to your belly. Press into your hands and tops of your feet. Melt your hips into the mat as you lift your chest for upward facing dog. Release back down and make your way to downward dog for a few deep breaths to reset. Come down to sit with your right leg extended and your left knee bent, resting your left foot towards your right inner thigh. As you inhale, reach your left arm towards the sky. Exhale, side bend to your right and reach for your foot. Hold for several breaths to stretch your lower back. Release and repeat on the other side. Left leg is extended, right knee is bent. Inhale to reach your right arm high. Exhale to side bend to the left, reaching for your foot. Hold for several breaths. When you're ready, release and make your way onto your back. Bend your knees and place your feet flat on the mat close to your glutes. With your core engaged and your chin tucked slightly, lift your hips and roll onto your shoulders and upper back. You can also clasp your hands to open up your chest. Hold this position for a couple of deep breaths. When you're ready, slowly lower back down and pull your knees into your chest. Open up your arms into cactus pose and lower your knees to the left. You can place your left hand on your knees for a deeper stretch. Take several deep breaths in this supine spinal twist. Release and change sides. Knees lower to the right, chin turns to the left. Take three deep breaths. When you're ready, make your way to Shavasana. With your arms extended, legs long, neck, jaw and face relaxed. Let yourself melt into the mat and completely relax your entire body.
When you're ready to come out, stretch your arms behind your head and extend your legs long for a big stretch. Roll over onto one side and make your way to seated. And you're all done. Now for the perfect post-workout meal, we'll be making a protein smoothie. Grab some pineapple and some frozen banana, add it to the blender. Add some water, milk or coconut water, flax seeds. I cannot live without flax seeds, they prevent cancer. And of course, protein. Four scoops of my Protein World Vanilla Protein. Add that in and we're ready to blend. Don't forget to use my discount code PWJuliaG for 40% off your whole Protein World order. The smoothie is ready and we can pour it into our glass. Drinking protein after your workout is essential to repair and build muscle. You can get protein from food, of course, but supplements just like this help you achieve your fitness goals faster. And that's all for this upper body and core workout, focusing on back, biceps and strength. I hope you followed along with me. And if you did, let me know how you went in the comments below. Bye, guys.